There are many different types of friction devices. A number of them are not appropriate for tree care or removal operations. The devices here on the table are designed specifically for the tree care industry. Let's start with the Porter App 3. It is the third generation of Porter App. The Porter App's been developed over the years, and the Porter App 3 has a number of features that are unique to the original, like the retention pin that I'm holding here that helps hold the rope onto the device so we don't lose a wrap. We can also hook fiddle blocks to it for lifting and hauling. And we can purchase this in steel, as Rip has in his hand here. We can purchase it in aluminum. The aluminum, the aluminum helps to dissipate heat more effectively. And they come in different sizes. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the good rigging control system, and it employs a sailboat winch that slides into the mount and then is attached to the tree with the webbing strap and is tightened with this, this bar that fits into the holes of the spindle to tighten it and hold it onto the tree. Now, we actually use the winch handle to turn, crank, and lift objects or tension the lowering line or lift limbs. Now, if we turn the device in one direction, it will turn very slowly, but it gives us a 44 to 1 mechanical advantage. As we turn in the other direction, the drum turns more quickly, and we have a 22 to 1 mechanical advantage. Now, the pigtail here and the pin here and the hooks here help to fair lead the rope in and out. Now, if we're just butt hitching and dropping uh, wood, for example, into the, into the device, we would take the boat winch out of the device, we pull the pin, we slide it out, and we slide the aluminum bollard in so that we're not just uh, putting undue wear and tear on the boat winch. Absolutely. That is a very nice piece of equipment, and we would not want to damage it. One thing I might add is that I really like is the self-tailer, which allows one person to lift and tail the line by themselves, which is a very nice feature. It really is ingenious. The rope is pinched between the, the two parts of the self-tailer and holds it in place. That's right. Moving along, this is the rope break, also tree-mounted with, with the strap here that tightens on to the base of the tree with this bar. This is a bollard, a steel bollard, that's actually filled with a liquid coolant. This is primarily used for lowering operations, and the liquid coolant helps to dissipate some of the heat that's created by the lowering line running over this bollard, and it could be at very high speeds, which could create a lot of heat in the line. Right, we could attach fiddle blocks and do some lifting, but primarily that's designed for, as you say, is for lowering and, and, and decelerating pieces that are being cut. That's right. The other device we have here is the Hobbs lowering device. The old faithful Hobbs lowering device. It, ha it is, and yet it's been improved, which is nice to see. Here, though, this also mounts onto the tree with the strap, but this incorporates a ratcheting bollard so that we may use this for lifting. We can use the bar in here to the end of the bollard and use that for lifting. A new device that they've added on is this roller system back here. What that does is that helps keep, during a lifting operation, that helps keep the rope from feeding back and doubling back on itself, which could have been a problem. Now that has been addressed. I see that the components of the fair lead can be replaced. And it also incorporates the hook so that the rope can be taken off the nose so that we don't have to stand at 90 degrees to the, the drum, and the drum is aluminum, which functions to dissipate heat more effectively than steel. That's right. So we see a really a, a interesting range of different devices that are used uh, for, as friction devices in lowering operations, and uh, really, we get the full spectrum here. And we'll get a chance to see them in action. That's right. Now, we're very fortunate to have these types of devices in our industry today, and it certainly is a far cry from the days of wrapping the rope around and around the trees, but obviously none of them would be much good without rope.